Welcome to the moment of truth. What you saw in that video is real. It's not uh, Nollywood, uh, whatever. They all went to church with a mortar and they are pounding their enemies. Enemies that are responsible for their childlessness. Enemies that are responsible for any problems in their lives. Poverty, lack of whatever. They should pan them until they buy them. That's the error of the fathers. All these small, small ones are building on it. Now, let's go to the Adeboye drinking tea. Because that one too refused to go away. Oh, I'll be reading all the comments for you. Pastor Adeboye claimed that he and his wife drank tea with God. And um, the video has been going around. Even it has become a debate on national TV. And uh, I want to read this to you as some people say it is possible. Like Ogebe, Joel Ogebe say it is possible. And he quoted some scriptures. Ebe Damina say there's nothing of such. It, will ne it, it can never happen. God is a spirit. But this Christo Morige for Christ, to my surprise, to my surprise, he wrote this. And I want to my people to know the error we have. Confusion everywhere. Adeboye, we start all these things. Oyedepo, we do his own. All these men are just causing confusion and chaos in, in today's uh, church or Christianity. Let me read to you. I'm not here to defend any pastor or minister, but the answer is yes, that it is possible that Adeboye can eat or drink tea with God. If he claimed it was in a dream or vision or trance, it's possible and biblical. And in fact, pray that you have such encounters. I reject such encounter in Jesus' name. Anyway, let me read on. Abraham's wife, Sarah, fed God with meat and bread. I'm sure that I'm sure that day they also gave him water or wine. And these days we drink tea. It just depends on generation, imagine. Because back then, they liked to eat with wine. God visited Abraham and Abraham asked God to eat with him. You see, the Bible gave us few things that can happen in encounter with God. But there are more than what that there are more that was not recorded. Few was recorded so we can believe again. I don't know any pastor. I can't defend anyone, anyone, but in a dream or encounter, like visions, yes, ma, this person still believe all that. You can have lunch or dinner with God if he visits you or you visit him. It depends on if you see him as a friend or father or God. Some, some only sees him as God, while others see him as a father and friend. God is a spirit. Doesn't mean he doesn't have a body. Kai. He have a body in Christ. He can do everything man can do in Christ. But purity wise is a spirit being. Physical wise is manifested in Christ. The resurrected Christ, God, ate fish with the apostles and then disappeared. He ate with the men he walked with on the road and disappeared. That was God in a body. So yes, but again, because a lot is going on in the body of Christ, now we can, tr we can trust, is it we can or we cannot trust anyone, but trust the Bible and the biblical answer is yes. Really, tea is even easier than fish. 
or fat meat he had with Abraham. Let's not underestimate God because of false teachers. Anything is possible with God. Really, we can't become lukewarm towards realities of the Bible because a popular teacher says it. The Bible is truth and we should test things by the Bible. Your question on your caption is easy. The answer, biblical, is yes. Why? He did it before many times in the Bible. In form of angel of the Lord Christ with Abraham and with the apostles in form of resurrected Christ. The image and body of God. Hope this helps. Really? Thank you. Anyway, uh, Brother David Olateju Oladejo wrote this. He hasn't seen this because he, write, he wrote his own. He wrote his own before uh, this guy wrote this one. So Brother David wrote, he writes, and uh, uh, this is an era of another gospel and the time of rebellion. But we must bear in mind that Paul gave a verdict concerning those who preach another gospel, different from the one they have preached and said they are cursed. Galatians 1, 6 to 8. Drinking tea with God is another gospel, different from what the apostles have preached. So anyone who said, who said it is cursed, According, according to Paul in Galatians 2, 6 to 8. Even if it is an angel, God has spoken concerning such people. But we must beware lest we be deceived my, my, by these men who have wolves in sheep clothing. May God help all of us. Amen. A lot of things is going on in the body of Christ. May God help us. Uh, Adeboye uh, also claimed that, I think he said he was greater than Apostle Paul or something. We see a lot going on now. We have to be very careful and we have to guide our minds. Anyway, beloved Florence wrote, there is an old book called Between Christ and Satan. In that book, it's very clear that Europe, America and West African Africa em embraced and read the six and seven book of Moses, which are occultic books. All these men we are seeing on the pulpit today, they've read all kind of books. And they've introduced some of them to their members as well. I've done a book about Adebu. I've posted a video about Adibu, I, um Kumuyi. That he read um, whose book now? Moriserillo. And he commanded all his, uh, his members to read it as well. This is what we are saying. Anyway, the first denomination established in Nigeria was Aladura. That's very true. By Moses Olimolade. I'm not sure if I wrote correctly. Many other African churches sprang from them. The problem is. The mixture is too much to the extent that our generation doesn't know what real Christianity is. That's very true. Maj very true. Majority of all these parts operating themselves are, are from Muslim background. Some of them, like uh, Ashim Olowo, was born Muslim. Um, Adeboye was a traditional man. So, I don't think he's still he, he, he is a, he's a Christian. Oh, yeah, therefore we claim that he was born in the church. He was born into a polygamous, polygamous house. His father has many wives. So that's why his mother was staying with his, mo his own mother. So, and they had him in the church and everything. That's what not made, it, made, made him a Christian. Anyway, let me read what others are saying. We even actually condemn Joel Ogebe. He said Ogebe is 
spin nonsense. And uh, those guys are occult and they've been taught in the in occult way and all that. Um, but as Sunday said, it is irritating. Continue to hear the drinking of tea with God. Let us assume that it is truly happen. This is a personal thing. I want to believe so. It should be a personal thing between Adeboye and his gods. Why bringing it to the whole congregation? The God that the God that could do such supernatural thing of drinking tea supposed to do greater supernatural things instantly after Pastor Adeboye gave that his testimony. Lame supposed to begin to walk. Blind eyes supposed to open immediately. Deaf supposed to hear instantly. When God gives someone a divine encounter. He gives it to glorify himself. In this tea drinking message, where is God glorified? Only Adeboye is glorified though. Ogebe does not know what he was saying at all. He cannot differentiate between the glory of God and seeing God face to face. Dr. Ebedamina really tried about correcting the drinking tea with God, but just that he missed it when he said God didn't appear to the Old Testament people. God did. The second person in the Holy Trinity, Jesus, sometimes appears in the Holy, in the Old Testament. They appear, he appeared to Moses as I am at Mount Oreb. This Jesus confirmed to the Jewish to the Jews in John 8, 56 to 59, that he is, I am. He appeared to Abraham, it is he. Then, in the New Testament, he, he took up human form to redeem us from our sins. Yeah, that is very correct. So all this one coming to say it is, it is too, it's causing confusion. It is it should, it's supposed to be a revelation for Adeboye, not to bring it to the pulpit to cause all this wahoo-ha. The people who followed the first prophet, Ben Johnson wrote, the people who followed the first prophet, we all go to the same hell forever. So we have to be very careful. Then, where Evan Anchor, he wrote, in uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 3, if our gospel is hidden, it is hidden to them that are lost. The boy is lost. Moses never saw God according to the scriptures. People should check their Bible. People don't read their Bible. That's why everybody is just misleading them and, um, and they're causing all these problems that we are seeing here. So God have mercy. This is what this is what the father, so-called father of faith, are doing because they don't know God themselves. I'm not trying to agree or disagree with Adeboye, but I'm reminding Pastor Damina that God did eat food with Abraham in Genesis 18, 1 to 10. So because this man wrote and I responded, so he's writing again. They have put themselves in place, in place as those performing the miracles. It is evident that the glory is directed to them and not to God. This is what David Aibire wrote. So another one, Jesus, please have mercy on the human beings he created. Another one wrote, Gladys wrote that, then scam well, I'm short of words. I'm laughing and vexed in my spirit at this false man. So, but Abolaji wrote, I no longer have any problems with these clones parading as pastors. My problem is with people 
who sits under them, giving them money. That's what they are doing. Um, Roland, Roland Wamagbe, why are all these fake Nigerian pastors making a big caricature of themselves? So shameful indeed. I need to enlighten all in the name of making fake miracles. Um, light, light, I feel, wrote, Tinubu needs Odumejeo. Seriously, Odumeje is just an entertainer. Have you ever seen him reading from the Bible or praying? Unfortunately, people follow them because they are looking for a quick fix to life problems. That's true. All the, all the people in all the churches, they're just looking for a quick way out from their own problems, and it doesn't work like that. People are not looking for true salvation and the Savior, Jesus Christ. And she's very right. And these men are not deliverers because they are not ready. Deliverers are not worldly. Deliverers are not greedy. Deliverers are not liars. Deliverers are not deceivers. And deliverers possess the authority of Christ. Deliverers live in full obedience to the word of God. We saw that in Abraham. He obeyed God to the core. Even when God asked him to go and kill his, own, his only son, he obeyed without any second thought. Because he believed that even if God allowed him to kill that boy, God has the power to wake him up again. Those are deliverers. Those are the ones that God can trust and confide in. God, told, God said to Abraham, Will I do anything without inform my friend Abraham? So tell me, who among all these pastors, parading themselves, have all these qualities we are talking about? Look at the scandals. Look at the lies. Look at the prayers they are praying here and there. Killing people with their prayers, with their utterance. Lying to people. Sleeping around. Collecting people's money and all that. Look at Isaiah. Isaiah walked naked for years. Seeking on the Lord. Because he wants a situation. He wants the situation in the history. In those days to change. He went to that extent. Who can do that among all these liars calling themselves pastors? God, don't work with liars. So, my people, don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody deceive you. Someone wrote um, in, in the video I posted before. Christ, oh, oh shoot. Uh, Holy Moses, Christ, so oh, should come out and prove, and prove them wrong. So, um, let me see. The funny part is still hearing the congregation clapping. Yes, the congregation don't know any better. Anything that their pastor says, they will clap. If their pastor is cursing people, they will clap. So, but as soon as they say, the funny part is still, is still hearing the congregation clapping. After Udumeje and Pastor Deboye said those things, where did the people put their brains? I don't know. How can God drink tea with him? Thank God he said it is his daddy that drank the tea. So maybe his daddy is not God. Yes, his daddy is as ancestors uh, powers. Is is he Adeboy is referring to his ancestor bag ancestors, not the God Almighty. So his daddy seems to be thirsty. That one with cars in heaven is a very great joker. He turned the church to house of comedy. May God purify and rebuild his church. This is what they are doing, you know. All sorts of things going on. My people know God for yourself. Oh. You know, that's what me I'm preaching, you know. I don't have any trust in any of these men. The way they lied. They you say God walk into their, into their room. How can God walk into your room? And your life is in a mess. And you are still collecting offering. You are still lying. You are still sleeping around. 
You be with a woman for 10 years, no marriage, and God walk into your house, to your room. And uh, the same man say that was same how say uh, Apostle Paul too walk into his uh, his room and he later started rebooking Apostle Paul. All of them rebooking Apostle Paul. Uh, the other one, uh, what was it called? Said that uh, Jesus didn't die for him. Uber angel. And this man supposed to be to be trusted. You still want to give your ears to to all these men? You still want to believe what they are saying? Many of uh, Adeboye's uh, videos have been removed now because redeem is so embarrassed. The one he said, uh, you, you beg your, uh, your friends for food, your colleagues for food. They've removed the video from, 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 from online. That's what they've been doing. Once Adeboye shit for church like this, they quickly go and remove. Or if anything happens in the, in the, in the redeem, they quickly and remove the, the video. Imagine anybody praying that all oh, other denomination will be bound down to redeem members, causing all that all, all, all other churches. And is that the one that God will come to drink tea with? It's not the God Almighty. All of you that are still living in the in the um, that that still deluded, still believing in all this men. Nala yo. Thank you, my people, for watching. I believe you learned something. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I will see you again on my next video. Bye for now.